everybody. So we're going to do a problem in chapter one, section three, and it's still complex. We're still dealing with all the complex stuff we were talking about, but we're dealing with uh, a quadratic in form. It's not a quadratic, but it's actually a quadratic in form. Um, and if you graph it, it looks almost like a quadratic, but it's, it's, uh, not quite the same. Um, so the way you can tell something's quadratic in form is that the variable is the exponent here is twice the exponent here, and you have three terms. Um, so it almost acts the same way, and it does work out that you can, um, and that's my dog growling in the background, and she will bark in a second, so my apologies. But, um, so what ends up happening is you take whatever this variable is. So if it, this was x to the 6th then this was x cubed, you'd use x cubed here. If this was x to the 8th and this is x to the 4th, you'd put x to the 4th here. Okay. So you treat it the same way. You say a is the coefficient here, which is 1, b is the coefficient here, which is 3, and c is the constant, which is negative 4. And you just plug it into the quadratic formula. So our b is positive 3, and because the negative is in the formula, we have negative 3, plus or minus the square root of. Now b is 3, so it's going to be 3 squared. Minus 4 is part of the formula, and we put the a, which is 1, and we put the c, which is negative 4, in these two spots. And then you also have 2 times a in the denominator. Now, a negative 4 times 1 times negative 4 is a positive 16. 3 squared is 9. So we're looking at x squared being equal to that expression, which is equal to this expression, which is equal to negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 25 over 2, and the square root of 25 is 5. And again, that's my dog. Sorry. So I have negative 3 plus or minus 5 all over 2. And so you actually have negative 3 minus 5, which is negative 8 over 2, and you have negative 3 plus 5, which is 2 over 2. Now this one's quick, so we'll just do it fast. So we have x squared is equal to 2 over 2, which is equal to 1. We take the square root on both sides. And when we do that, we have to remember that the square root of 1 could be plus or minus 1. So those are two of our answers. Those are two of our, let me show you this, four roots. Traveling on back. Now I have x squared is equal to negative 8 over 2. Well, negative 8 over 2 is negative 4. And we're going to take the square root on both sides. And we learned that when we have the square root of a negative, i pops out. And so now we have a positive 4 underneath here with the i out in front. And the i is indicating that we have um, a complex number. And we take uh, the square root. Remember, we're going to need plus or minus. Now, 4 has a square root, which is 2. So this becomes plus or minus 2i. So our four answers are positive 2i, negative 2i, positive 1, and negative 1. Okay, hope that helps.